You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. changing your life with fibromyalgia this is lives changed with your host deborah lundquist through knowledge and prayer deb has learned to live with this difficult and often misdiagnosed disease get spiritual and good practical advice for achieving good health and acceptance while living with fibromyalgia so now please welcome the host of lives changed deborah lundquist Welcome to Life's Changed, a show about fibromyalgia and as such other chronic pain. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and you're listening to the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, iTunes, and iHeartRadio.com. I would like to tell you a little bit about myself. In 1999, I had a horrible accident in which I was told I should have died, but God had other plans. I acquired reflex sympathetic dystrophy or as it's now known, complex regional pain syndrome, which is the worst pain known to man. And when the doctors put that to sleep, we discovered I also have fibromyalgia as well as several other chronic pain and autoimmune diseases. To learn more about me, you can read my bio on the Lives Changed page on the BBM Global Network. All of our radio shows are saved there as well, so you can listen from show one all the way through to last week's show. This week's show will be on there next week. I do need to say I am not a doctor or in the medical field in any way. I'm a patient, just like you. I will not diagnose, suggest you start or stop any medications. I like audience participation, even though I can't see you. So grab a pen and paper and write things down as you see fit. If you have any questions, write those down too. And then you can email them to me at liveschangedradio at gmail.com. Or you can call the show while it is live. And it is live today, Saturday, June 16th. And get your questions answered if time allows. If I don't know an answer to your question, I'll write it down and I'll have the answer for you next week. Also, let me give you some other places where you can find me. On Facebook, you will find me on your, Y-O-U-R, fibromyalgia. This is a support group for fibromyalgia and other chronic pain. And I have a website called deblundquist.com. That's H-T-T-P-S colon forward slash forward slash deblundquist.com. Where I have written articles for patients, caregivers, doubters, and even an unbeliever. A quiz about fibromyalgia, the story of my life and how I got the disease, access to the radio show, and access to all the natural products that I use and now sell, as well as other products I'm creating along the way. And if you have people in your family who would like to know about fibromyalgia uh, or friends, this is a good place to send them so that they can learn about it. You can also call me personally at 815-214-9443. Again, that's 815-214-9443. And if I don't answer, please just leave a message and I will call you right back as soon as I can. 
If you have comments about the show, please make them on my Lives Changed page on the BBM Global Network. Did I give you the phone number for the show to call live? It's 866-451-1451. Again, if you have questions you want answered when the show is live, it's 866-451-1451. I'm not sure if I gave that to you or not. Okay, the first thing that I like to do at the beginning of every show is repeat affirmations out loud. Now, this is for you to say them out loud with me. The first time I run through them, I explain why they're important. And the second time then, we say them together out loud. If you haven't written them down, please do so today so that you can say them during the week. And then if you say them in front of the mirror to yourself, they really are much more effective. So here we go. I am not alone. And we aren't alone. There are more than 10 million of us in the USA and more than 20 million of us in the world. Um... When you consider that the world is so much bigger than the USA, I would say that there's much more than 20 million in the world. They're just not reported. And then there are the undiagnosed and the misdiagnosed, and that doesn't count children or teenagers. So I would say those numbers are low. It also doesn't count our heroes coming back from war who have been diagnosed with PTSD. And now many of those with PTSD are being diagnosed with fibromyalgia. So see, that number is probably much higher. I am beautiful or handsome as the case may be. Fibromyalgia is not just a woman's disease anymore. More and more men are being diagnosed with this every single day. And the thought used to be that men couldn't get this, and so they were never diagnosed with it. But now they've come to realize that it isn't just a woman's disease. I don't know why they ever thought it was. I am loved. And you are, we are, loved more than we ever thought before because the fibromyalgia community loves us with their whole heart because we understand each other. And if you don't believe that, please join your fibromyalgia and you will discover it. I am needed and we are needed We're needed for each other, if for no other reason, because we need to support each other. We need to be there to be leaned on. We are the ones that understand each other. I still have a purpose. And we have a purpose now more than we ever had before. We still have a purpose that we had before we got sick. But now we have an even bigger purpose. We have 10 million people who need us. And I'm not saying that you've got 10 million people sitting on your shoulder waiting for you. But we have support groups that need our our person to be there to support them. Now, if you're in a support group that all they do is whine and whine and bring you down, then you need to not be in that because you don't need a support group that just makes you depressed. You need one that brings you up as well. This is Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. Don't go away because we will be right back. Hello, everybody. This is Coach Betty Louise, and I have a question for you. 
When is the last time you looked in the mirror and saw your amazing beauty and sexuality? 80% of women do not have a positive body image. 97% of women do not like something about their bodies and over 10 million women have eating disorders. In addition, at least 40% of women are sexually repressed and one in seven marriages are sexless. I've just completed a book called Healing with Pleasure Medicine. What I will teach you is what gets in the way of your ability to see your beauty, sensuality, and sexuality. How to shift your perception to increase pleasure throughout your entire day. Okay, the place to find all of this information is CoachBettyLive.com. One more time, CoachBettyLive.com. Look forward to connecting. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Welcome back to Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and we are going through affirmations. So I think we did. I still have a purpose, but if not, I'll do it again. I still have a purpose, and we do. We have a purpose we had before, and we have a a bigger purpose with the fibromyalgia community to be there, to be supportive, and to lean on when we need to. I am important, and we are important. We're important like we've never been before. We're important to our families, if they're still around. We're important to our friends. And we're important to the fibromyalgia community. And if you don't think so, then join your fibromyalgia. I love you. I want you to look in your beautiful eyes in the mirror And I want you to say it with meaning. I love you. It means so much. And you need to really learn how to love yourself again. And I have an article on DebLundquist.com that will help you with that. I am a survivor. And if you're listening to this, you are. And that also makes you a warrior. I am still me. And you might not realize that, but you are still the same person you were before. You might not be able to do everything that you did before, but you're still the same person you were before, but you're better. You have more empathy in your little finger than you ever had before. You can look at people now and you can see their pain where you couldn't do that before. You care for people more than you ever did before. And you have more love in your heart for people now than you ever had before. So you're better. You're a better person now than you ever were before. Because you know what it feels like. To not have that. I am unique. There is no one else like me anywhere in the world. That makes me not only special, that makes me powerful. And that's so true because if identical twins aren't really identical, then there's nobody else like you out there. 
they say everybody has a twin, but that's not really true. Okay, now let's say these together out loud with me. Are you ready? I am not alone. I am beautiful or handsome. I am loved. I am needed. I still have a purpose. I am important. I love you. I am a survivor, a warrior. I am still me. I am unique. There is no one else like me anywhere in the world. That makes me not only special, that makes me powerful. And that is a special gift given to you, so don't waste it. Well, it's Saturday morning again, and it feels like the weekend is going to start off with a good feeling. Do you have your water, juice, tea, or coffee ready? Good, then let's get started and have a nice, relaxing hour together discussing fibromyalgia. First, let's finish the ways to stay calm when others are angry. And this I took, with permission, from markandangel.com. And this was written by Angel herself. So, when others are angry, let's not get carried away. Calmness is a superpower. We all would like to have a superpower, wouldn't we? Now, I finished off with this one. I'm just going to repeat it. Number five is don't take people's behavior personally. I'm repeating this because it's so important. And a lot of times we do this. She says, I've said it before and I'll say it again. That's why I'm repeating it. (laughs) If you take everything personally, you will be offended for the rest of your life. And there's no reason for it. Even when it seems personal, rarely do people do things because of you. They do things because of them. You know this is true. You may not be able to control all of the things people say and do to you, but you can decide how to re- be you sorry, my eye teeth cannot see what I'm saying. And you do 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 do, do, do but you can Decide not to be reduced by them. Make that decision for yourself today. Let it go. Seriously, there is a huge amount of freedom that comes to you when you detach from other people's beliefs and behaviors. The way people treat you is their problem. How you react is yours. Everyone behaves the way they behave based on how they feel inside. Some people never learn how to effectively cope with their stressful emotions. When someone is acting obnoxious, it's vital that you remain calm no matter what. Don't allow other people to knock you off your center. Do whatever it takes to remain calm and address the situation from the inside out. That's where your greatest power lies. Talk less and learn to appreciate silence. This is my biggest downfall right here. Don't fall into an unnecessary argument just because you feel uncomfortable in silence. Don't say things you'll regret five minutes later just because you have to fill your eardrums with noise. Anger and frustration begins internally. You have the capacity to choose your response 
to momentarily dis, uh, discomfort. Inhale, exhale. A moment of silence and a moment of anger can save you from a hundred moments of regret. To be truthful, you're often most powerful and influential in an argument when you are most silent. I really have to learn that. This is Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Patricia Fayweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline, and she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes, and she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Welcome back to Lives Change. This is Deb Longquist, your host. Others never expect silence. They expect yelling, drama, defensiveness, offensiveness, and lots of back and forth. They expect to leap into the ring and fight. They are ready to defend themselves with sly remarks, cocked and loaded. But your mindful silence, that can really disarm them. Create a morning ritual that starts your day off right. Don't rush into your day by checking your phone or email. Don't push yourself in t- don't push yourself it into a stressful state of mind that's incapable of dealing positively with other people's negativity. Create time and space for a morning rich ritual that's focused and peaceful. Here's part of her morning ritual. She takes 10 deep breaths before getting out of bed. She stands up and stretches, and then she does 10 minutes of meditation. She challenges us to try this. It's been life-changing for her. But start small, she says, with just three deep breaths and three minutes of meditation a day. Do this for 30 days. After 30 days, if this daily ritual becomes easy, add another two breaths and another two minutes to the ritual. When you begin a day mindfully, you lay the foundation for your day, being calm and centered, regardless of going on, what's going on around you. Cope using healthy choices and alternatives. When you face stressful situations, we calm, we often calm or soothe ourselves when unhealthy choices. Drinking alcohol, eating sugary snacks, 
smoking, etc. It's easy to respond to anger with anger and unhealthy distractions. Notice how you cope with stress. Replace bad coping habits with healthy coping habits. Take a walk in the green space. Make a cup of tea and sit quietly with your thoughts. Listen to some pleasant music. Write in your journal. Take it, talk it out with a close friend. Healthy coping habits make healthy and happy people. Nine, and this is the last one. Remind yourself of what's right and create more of it in the world. Keeping the positive in mind helps you move beyond the negative around you. At the end of the day, reflect on your small daily wins and all the little things that are going well. Count three small events on your fingers that happened during the day that you're undoubtedly grateful for. For example, my family and I made it home safely from work and school today. My spouse and I shared a laugh. Our meals filled our stomachs, etc. And pay it forward when you get a chance to. Let your positivity empower you to think kindly of others and speak kindly to others and do kind things for others. Kindness always makes a difference. Create the outcomes others might be grateful for at the end of their day. Be a bigger part of what's right in the world. So now it's your turn. The most fundamental aggression to ourselves and others, the most fundamental harm we can do to human nature as a whole is to remain ignorant by not having the awareness and the courage to look at ourselves and others honestly and gently. So as you can tell today, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting words out. So I'm going to try to do a little bit better, but you know, It's that limbic area in my brain is not letting the words come out smoothly. So I'm going to try to get my eye teeth to just help me speak just a little bit better. So now we are going to talk about what is in your toolbox. What do you have handy or in your toolbox to help you with your fibromyalgia? This is what I have in mind and the reasons why I find them useful. It's a rather large toolbox. (laughs) Actually, I couldn't carry it around if I had to. The first thing is God. Well, I don't think I have a toolbox big enough to put him in, do you? I would not still be alive if I didn't have God and my faith to keep me going. There have been many times in my life, even before my first accident, when pain was so bad, I could not have made it through without knowing I had God there holding me together. God was there to keep it from getting to the point of no return. And God was the one who helped me find the rest of the tools to put in my toolbox. He's been the one to lead me every step of the way in this journey we call life. Second is my Bible. I find a lot of answers in there. Every time I read it, I learn something new. And I read both the Old and the New Testament because they both speak to me. Third is my self-advocate, me and Bob and my daughter. In other words, my team, me. I wouldn't be able to even exist if I did not have my team, me. That's why it's so important to develop one so they can help watch over you. 
and be there for you. This is Lives Changed. I'm Deb Longquist. <laughs> I can't even say my own name right. And oh, we'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> Jenny Friend is a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified clinical sexologist, commonly known as a sex therapist with over 30 years of experience in the field of sexuality. She's been a researcher and teacher and is further trained in human development over the lifespan. She's also a published author and a radio personality. Her specialized training in lifespan developments means she can help individuals, couples, and families through difficult developmental phases. Her primary ways of working are through the tools of cognitive, behavioral, and psychoenergetics theories and techniques. Couples, individual men and women, and families are also welcome. She can meet in her office in Costa Mesa, California, or on the Internet through Skype at Jenny Friend MFT. Call 714-210-9200. You can also send an email from her website at www.centerforclarity.org. That phone number again is 714-210-9200. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Welcome back to Lives Change. This is Deb Lundquist, your host. And you guys may have noticed that I'm having a little bit of speaking problems today, proving I have fibro. So just bear with me. (laughs) It's kind of funny. I always laugh when I have speaking problems. So um, just, uh, just bear with me. My fourth thing in my box is my Limu Mui Seaweed Original, the beneficial liquid nutritional supplement that I drink that not only has me healthier because my body is absorbing the nutrients, but because of the absorption itself. I'm feeling so much better. My blood tests are better than they've ever been since I started testing my blood 40 years ago. And to me, that's just amazing. It's because the fucoidin, which has been proven to have life-sustaining and immune-supporting properties. Now, these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA And that's because this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. It really is simply a beneficial liquid nutritional supplement. It's food. Fifth one is doTERRA essential oils. These are the certified, purest, most potent therapeutic grade oils in the world and are absolutely amazing. I love that word. I even will use some of them on my dog because that's how safe they are. And he was sick this week, and I was really worried. He had a double ear infection. And I used frankincense, and I used breathe, and I used lavender on that little fella. And he was better in four days, and he was even running in a temperature. But that's just how good these are. I will put a drop of lavender on each of his front paws, and he gets through a storm just fine, unless it's a tornado. And then he gets it on all four feet, and I get some, too. If his allergies are bothering them, then he gets breathe on his front paws. And within seconds, he can breathe again. And I get some too. 
For me, if I get that tingling and burning feeling on my feet and toes, I'll use that deep blue rub on the bottom of my feet. And within minutes, I feel better. For my sinuses, I use peppermint and breathe or cardamom, depending on my needs. For migraines, I use frankincense, lavender, and peppermint, and whisper in that order on the bottom of my toes and the inside of my feet where you get corns. Plus, I'll put past tense around the horseshoe at the back of my head. That's where my migraines are. For energy, I use wild orange and peppermint and mitomax. For depression, I use cheer and elevation, balance and clary calm. I could go on and on. I use all of them. I swear I spend a lot of money with doTERRA. Oh, and I use the V-shakes because they are gluten-free and dairy-free. And I use Serenity soft gels and oil and bergamot for sleep. And I sleep like a baby. These oils also have not been evaluated by the FDA. But then, of course, these oils are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. They are given to us by God from the earth, just like we are. Number six is water, water, water. When you use the oils, you have to drink water. And when you drink limu, you have to drink water. Because both of them are releasing toxins from your body. And you have to get those toxins out. And the only way to do that is by drinking water. You need to take your weight, divide it by half, and that is how much water you need to be drinking in ounces daily. And that's just plain water, H2O. Anything else that you drink above that and beyond that doesn't count. If your pee isn't clear, you need to be drinking more water. Seven, Limu Lean Burn helps me with my appetite control and gives me energy. Eight, vitamin D3, calcium, magnesium glycinate, which is formulated just for fibromyalgia, and you can get it pretty cheap over the internet, vitamin C, and a probiotic that has a prebiotic, organic prebiotic in it, and I get that from Herbalife. Now, the reason is that I say organic is that you can buy it over the internet, but they don't tell you that it has milk and wheat in it. And I have really bad celiac disease, and I have a really bad allergy to milk. So we ordered it on internet. And there's one that is really advertised a lot on the internet, and they do not tell you that it has this in it. And I was really upset. So I get this from Herbalife. It's organic, and I can take it. And with the celiac disease, I really need a probiotic and a prebiotic because otherwise my veli will lay flat. Okay, I also take cinnamon to help with my blood sugar. A doctor told me to do that. Nine, like I said, I have celiac disease. So I have to keep a very strict FODMAP diet because if I don't, I get leaky gut. So I have very bad reactions if I don't stay on that strict FODMAP diet. Ten, I go to a psychologist and I don't think she would like it if I put her actually in a box either. 11, I go to physical therapy or I do my exercise because if I don't, I regress. And I would also put my exercise bike in that very big toolbox. This is Lives Changed. I'm Devlin Quist, your host. Now don't go away because we'll be right back. 
Essential Nutrients LLC is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Introducing BetterHomeAndGarden.com. That's www.betterhomeandgarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. BetterHomeAndGarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, BetterHomeAndGarden.com. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor coverings, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. Welcome back to Lives Change. This is Deb Lundquist, your host. I said my name right. All right, number 12. I do my work at home or write or file or pay bills or do something constructive around the house. 13. I relax, play games, or read if I can. 14. I take naps if I need them and I don't feel guilty. 15. I take Epsom salt baths with essential oils. 16, I cuddle with my dog. And he wouldn't really like to be put in a toolbox either. 17, I FaceTime with my daughter and my grandson, my sunshine of my heart, and he always says, yes, I am. 18, at night, I spend time with my Bob and I watch TV, and otherwise, I rarely watch TV. 19. I usually go to bed late, and I sleep in late, and I don't feel guilty about that either. 20. I drink a shake in the morning and a shake at noon, and then I eat a good dinner, and in between, I drink my lean burn, to keep my appetite under control. 21, I always keep a light blanket close at all times because my feet will get cold. 22, I keep a sleeve with copper close to me at all times for my right arm, which is my original injury, and a pressure glove close for my left wrist because of the tendonitis. 23. I keep a leave nearby for when storm fronts and wind are whipping by. 24. I keep my allergy meds and eye drops handy because I need them regularly now. 25. I keep the bed raised just a bit for acid reflux and allergies. 26. My electric lounge chair. I don't need it to be electric right now, but when my RSD CRPS is active, I need it because my right arm simply won't move. 27, my research so that I can write. 28, my computer, my Kindle, my iPad, and my phone. 29, my microphone and earphones for the radio show in the support group and the website. 
30 and you because you keep me going. See, I told you, a very big box. Now, the next one, the connection between thought patterns and physical reaction. In fibromyalgia, there clearly is a connection between established trauma and its effects and our physical real suffering, which leaves us caught between doctors for medicine and the mind. Doctors for the body and the mind. Nobody wants the responsibility of fibromyalgia, waiting for medicine to catch up. Well, the support group came up with this subject for the show that they would like addressed. I asked them for subjects now and again, and this one sounded interesting. So I hope I do it justice. The connection between thought patterns and physical reaction. So this one was going to take me a lot of thought, and I hope I can explain it well. My comments are from my thoughts and from discussions I've had with doctors and psychologists who have treated me. So hang on. This one is going to go from this show to the next, I promise you. All right. The brain is where our limbic area is located. And when we have thoughts, any thoughts, they will affect our limbic area. Also, our adrenal glands do react to our thoughts, positive or negative. Our adrenal glands are responsible for creating many of our hormones that we need for our daily functioning. Our thoughts and moods will affect how efficiently these glands function. When we have something that triggers our fright and flight system, which is located in the sympathetic nervous system, that immediately sends out warning signals to all parts of the body. This means that our blood flow will slow at the surface of our body, i.e. the skin, so that so that the needs of the part of the body that needs to survive, the core of our body is what I mean, has the blood to sustain it. This warning also sends signals to the limbic area of our brain, all of the nervous systems, and every single part of our body. And in the limbic area, which also can set off depression, it also sets off all kinds of the cognitive issues. So are you following me so far? The cognitive issues we have discussed before, and they include memory, the ability to speak properly, which I'm not doing well today, and remember what you're trying to say in the middle of a sentence and even what you're talking about in the middle of a sentence, confusion, sense of loss of self, insomnia, loss of sex drive, and so much more. Now, if things continue and the warning signals continue, It means the parasympathetic nervous system is not getting the signal to turn off the warning signal. The switch is broken. When that happens, we get fibromyalgia and RSD CRPS. This then begins the connection between the thought process and the physical reaction. Well, we're already having the physical reaction, but... Our thought processes are also going at the same time. Our brains and thoughts move so quickly and our bodies react so immediately to those thoughts. It is amazing. And remember me talking about our brain synopsis 
and how Neurotin and Lyrica can slow those brain synopsis down? We'll talk about that in a minute. This is Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. Don't go away. We'll be right back. There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolly Fellowship for study in Paris at Le Colde Beaux Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20-year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 BC when the Sumerians invented the first written language and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 BC to the time that men began achieving political power around 3000 BC. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Welcome back to Lives Change. This is Deb Lundquist, your host. Okay, well, the limbic reactions, once we have fibro and chronic pain, are also slowed down. When we take these drugs, they become even slower. Now consider when we have negative thoughts that set off depression, which sets off negative reactions to the adrenal glands that are already under stress because we already have fibromyalgia, and we have a connection. We have a physical connection with our thoughts and our body's reaction to those thoughts. We have a physical connection not only with our thoughts and our body's reaction to those thoughts, but let's follow the path. We have an illness which has already impaired our, shall we say, thought process because it has affected our limbic portion of our brain. With our limbic portion of our brain not functioning properly, we probably have depression. So our depression is adding to the problem. Now, if we add Neurotin or Lyrica, which I can't take, by the way, and the slowing of our brain synopsis, we can see where this is going. We now have negative thoughts, bing, bang, boom, the depression worsens. The adrenal glands get sadder. Now, if we start working on positive thoughts as hard as we can, Everything goes the other way. This is why it is so necessary to see both a doctor and a psychologist. A regular physician is not only not qualified to be a counselor, but they're not going to take the time. It's hard enough to get them to understand chronic pain, for heaven's sakes. However, a psychologist can help with so many parts of chronic pain. They can help with coping skills. They can help with parts of the muscle memories that could be part of our developing of the disease. And they can help with other aspects of the disease too, like living everyday life with it and how to handle people who treat you badly. The medical community will not catch up with the needs of fibromyalgia for years for one simple reason. Research has not come to an agreement on the reason for the development of our getting fibromyalgia 
or any other chronic pain. They don't know why the parasympathetic nervous system doesn't shut off. And so we've come to the end of the show, and I'm going to have to finish this next week. But there is a lot to finish. So this is Deb Lundquist, your host, and you've been listening to Lives Changed. And as we come to the end of the show, I want to say thank you for listening. I'm so glad that you did. Remember, I'm not in the medical field. But if you have comments on the show or questions, you can make them on my Lives Changed page on the BBM Global Network. Or you can send them to liveschangedradio at gmail.com. You can call me personally at 815 815- Two one four nine four four three. That's eight one five two one four nine four four three. And you can also find me on Facebook on your Y O U R fibromyalgia or my web page https colon forward slash forward slash Deb Lundquist.com. We'll be on again next Saturday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central, 8 a.m. Pacific Time. We hope to see you then on BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, iTunes, and iHeart.com. Please remember you're stronger than you think. Fight on and you're not alone. Have a blessed week and thank you again for tuning into the show today. You've been listening to Lives Changed with host Deborah Lundquist. Find out each week how Deb can educate, guide, and help you get through the daily challenges of living with fibromyalgia on Deb Lundquist's Lives Changed. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.